Hi there, and welcome to today's discussion, Doing Business in South Africa, How to Select the Most Suitable Business Entity. This presentation is proudly brought to you by Skuman Law Incorporated. We're a boutique law firm based in Cape Town, South Africa. We specialize in serving the needs of the entrepreneur. For more information about us, feel free to watch our About Us video on our website at www.skumanlaw.co.za. My name is Nicolene Skumanlaw. Thank you for this opportunity to present to you today. I'm an attorney of the High Court of South Africa, conveyancer, notary public and mediator. I specialize in all aspects of commercial law, broad-based black economic empowerment advice and planning, the drafting of wills and estate planning. I'm also the managing director of Skuman Law Incorporated. I hold an LLB, LLM and postgraduate diploma in financial planning. Please note that this presentation and its slides are copyright protected. Accordingly, this presentation and its slides are only being shared today for educational purposes and it does not constitute legal advice. Should you require legal advice or if you are interested in learning how today's topic could be impacting you or your business, feel free to contact us for consultation. Our contact details can be accessed at www.skumanlaw.co.za. Please navigate to the Contact Us page for more information. The Companies Act 61 of 2008, as amended, provides the legal framework within which companies are registered within South Africa. It also provides for a number of different options in regards to company registrations. But for purposes of this discussion, we'll only focus on two of those options. The first of those options is the private company, also abbreviated as PTY Limited. This structure affords its shareholders limited liability and aligns well with similar limited liability company structures around the world. So within this context, it's fairly simple to establish or register and manage. But it is a fresh or new entity that gets registered within South Africa. The alternative is registering an external company. An external company basically affords an existing foreign structure the opportunity to have recognition in South Africa. In other words, it gives it legal meaning within South Africa without registering a new entity. So without becoming too technical about the topic, and although an external company would be given a registration number for use in South Africa, it does not actually create entity. The only way in which I can possibly more simply explain the differences between these two options is to say this. An external company is an administrative action that can be taken by an existing foreign entity to give itself local standing in South Africa, local legal recognition if you may. Sort of like when an individual travels the world and obtains a visa to visit a foreign country. The private company, on the other hand, is a new entity that is it, which could but not, is not necessarily related to the existing foreign entity. In other words, it doesn't necessarily form part of a group structure. So, by way of the same comparison, this would be more like obtaining citizenship in a foreign country. So with all of this being said, what is the best way forward? Well, the answer to that question is it depends on a range of different considerations and the particular circumstances of the investor concerned. 
We recommend that you seek professional assistance from the start. Ensure that you get professional legal as well as tax and financial advice before you start conducting business. Of course, this advice does not only relate to doing business in South Africa, but also broadly speaking, in expanding your business interests into any foreign jurisdiction. It's a good point for departure. Very importantly, key to our recommendation presentation is that you ensure that the structure you've elected through taking the advice just mentioned is set up and in place from the start. This because prevention really is better than cure. Thank you for joining us for this presentation today. We would love to connect with you. If you have any questions regarding this discussion or if you need any further advice, we do offer a number of options for consultation. Please feel free to any of the details listed on this slide. Also, should you have any suggestions regarding future topics, feel free to email us at inquiries at We look forward to connecting with you again soon.